Hello, in this video, we are going to find matches between two lists. This is something that I've done many tutorials on in the past, using techniques such as Power Query and VLOOKUP. But in this video, the goal is to extract the matching values. And in modern Excel and dynamic array formulas, this is so simple. In cell G4, I want to return the names that occur in both of these lists, the matching values. So I need to ensure that these individuals attend both of these events and I want to chase up those who have not. So to find the matches, we can use the count ifs function, this terrific function, one of my favorites, and tell it to use the criteria range of the ID values in table two, comma, and for the criteria, the ID values in table one. So can you match the IDs from table one to the range of IDs in table two? This will simply count the occurrences. So if they do occur, if there is a match in table two, there is a one, and otherwise there is a zero. With this, we can easily filter that list or indeed perform other tasks such as a, a sum to find out how many. Now our goal is to extract the names from table one. So back to our formula, we're going to add in the filter function. So if I add in filter, and I'm going to give it the array of names from table one, I'll start a new line with this include argument using the count ifs function that we've already entered. That is our include argument. Any number except zero evaluates to true. Now the if empty argument is optional, but I am going to add something in there as well. And I'll say no matches. Now in this case, there are some matches, so we're not going to experience the result from this argument. But if there were no names occurring in both, that is the response. Otherwise, a calc error would be returned. Now, closing off this bracket and running this formula will result in the names that are matches in both lists. And we could take this further if we wanted to. I could come in and decide to sort the names of those individuals by simply wrapping the sort function around this. By default, it will order them in ascending order, which is ideal for these names. Awesome, so that is how to find matches in two lists. Now in a scenario where one of your goals is to follow up with those who have not attended both, so they're in table one, but they are not in table two, we can simply use this formula. If I come and just take a copy of this formula, taking the formula text here, so I don't have to worry about absolute references, and in a different cell, such as I4, if I just paste this in, and we can simply add the not function around the count ifs function here to reverse it. So pressing enter will now return those names that are in table one and not in table two. So using the brilliant sort and filter functions and the forever brilliant count ifs, we can easily compare two lists and other find matches in two lists, or even those that do not match, and then return them in a dynamic and automatically updating report. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like button. It really helps. And why not subscribe to receive the latest Excel and Power BI videos and tips at this channel. Take care. I'll see you again soon.